Hi and welcome to this Audio Grail film showcasing a new old stock Garrod 301. You'll note from the box if I zoom in just slightly there, this is the N stroboscopic turntable or non strobe platter as shown in the image of the unit there on the box. After 50 years it seems the cardboard's not done too well but uh, we're going to open up the box now and um, see what we can find inside. Okay, now the obvious pieces of packaging there, and in the top part we should have the platter, and the manual, maybe the manual's actually been opened at some point, but uh, let's have a look at it, just uh, okay, that's a five star, we have the test card, and also behind the test card the mountain template which is correct and this is serial number 55253 ok moving on and there we have the non strobe platter and rubber platter mat and having a good look at the platter mat there first I mean quite often units that have been left in the loft as an example places like that are a bit dry this feels very supple, there's no cracking or any other difficulties and uh, just observing now the top of the non strobe platter yeah. and you can see there's been no running of the idler wheel on the inside of this rim here it's particularly smooth, very clean that's great and in the box here taking out the top packaging we then get to see the inside of the box and there is the unit there still in its clear plastic which uh, I'll try and illuminate a bit better there first of all we've got the sealed oil and we have the uh, fixing screws can we just see the front of that package oh, okay I think that one is the one for the triangular washers for a sprung top board then we should also have the 45 adapter package and finally still sealed the actual mounting bolts and those are critical in looking at a unit whether they've been whether the unit's been used or not and we'll, we'll come to that in just a moment when we get to uh, see uh, the turntable itself just taking out the final pieces of packaging we still have the original uh, card for the transit clamp and also looking at the instructions for how to use the, the actual turntable itself and I'll just remove this from the box so that we can actually have a really good look at it. Closing in now, taking off the plastic. Should be able to observe the unit there. Uh, firstly, silver fascia plate, obviously. Perfectly clean. Some of the things to look for, some of the critical elements to look for on so called new old stock or unused 301s are the mounting holes here. Because this, the moment you put a bolt through those, they mark on the inside. This is only a very thin coating of powder coat. And as you can see, these are absolutely clean in all four cases. And again there is the serial number 55253. So just removing now some of the factory paperwork we can note that the felt oil washer is absolutely clean. It's also bone dry, it's not had any oil since the day it left the factory. We can also note the brake pad shows no wear or darkening. Quite often, so-called new old stock units, you'll find the brake pad worn. There's wear to the mounting holes. There's the darkening, of course, to the 
felt there. And then moving across we can see the speed disc, the red top pulley, and the paint finish, or the, the powder coat I should say, is absolutely perfect. Wonderful to see. Turning the unit over now, in most cases you'll note with 301s the tarnishing of the linkages. These are absolutely as they left the factory. You can note here as well that obviously there's been no uh, repainting of this unit. All the rivets are absolutely perfectly peened as they were in the factory. You have the test stamp. We move around and we see how clean that motor is there. Absolutely pristine. Again, top of the spindle bearing with the end cap there, quite often tarnished with oil, leakages, spills, etc. Absolutely clean. And if we just move the unit round, you will get a, a real sense of how good the condition is of this. This is the original spark suppressor. I would certainly recommend to whoever purchases this unit that that would be replaced just because of age. That will be uh, out of spec and it will cause the uh, speed disc to spin even in the off position. And that is the case just because of age, once again. Absolutely fantastic to see a unit coming out of the box for the first time in however many years. We're proud to offer it for sale and uh, we would recommend to anybody buying this unit, of course it is 50 years plus and uh, would therefore require a bit of a service just in terms of oil um, and a quick maintenance really of the motor, idler wheel, bushes etc to get it into the correct running order but uh, with all the sealed items in its original packaging obviously unused uh, we hope you enjoyed this film thank you for watching